right, let me talk to you good one time, okay? Let me tell you some things that you shouldn't be tolerating inside of a relationship. First of all, I'm Sansa Ray. I appreciate you being here. There's a lot of stuff on YouTube you could be watching, but you're watching me. I know why you're here. You're trying to figure out, have you touched your limit? We be, we be tolerating way too much inside of these relationships. But I'm gonna tell you some things that the person that you with shouldn't be getting away with, okay? Excuse me as I kiss the sky. Number one, emotional or verbal abuse. Don't nobody got time for that. Okay, if you gonna talk to me, you gonna talk to me with some respect, okay? We're not gonna talk to each other like we're little kids. That's not gonna happen. We're grown adults here. We're gonna have a communication, you know, situation here that's gonna be healthy for the both of us. If you don't know how to control yourself during conversation, then we don't need to talk at all, okay? You're not gonna be talking to me, trying to hurt my feelings, saying little slick stuff, you know, tip for tie, I don't like all that. That ain't about to happen. Number two, when they be trying to make you feel guilty because, you know, you don't wanna have sex. I'm tired. I went to work. I went to school. I watched the kids. I don't feel like it. I went to the gym. I mean, I'm just tired. Can I be tired for once? Like, I, just because I'm not having sex with you today doesn't mean I won't have it tomorrow. Like, why are you getting angry? Next, body shaming. Oh, you got something to say about my body? Oh, my body wasn't all this and all that when you was trying to hit. When you was all trying to just jump my bones every five minutes. You was just trying to do me. You was mad because I didn't want to do you. Now you want to body shame me? Oh, really? Okay, then. Don't nobody got time for that. Next, when your sexual needs aren't taken in consideration. You know, <laughs> I just said a person shouldn't be mad if you don't, you know, have sex with them. Don't nobody got time for that. That's not the same thing. I know this could be a little confusing. <laughs> But hear me what I'm saying. When I say somebody should take in consideration what you want sexually, I mean, if you like oral sex or if you like full play or whatever it is that you like and the person that you're with won't even consider doing that, that's not the person you should be with. I think you should get on a schedule. If you don't want to have sex every night, be like, listen, I will make sure that I put aside some sex so we can have it. Can you wind me? Can you time me? Can you take me to the movies? And then take me out to eat and give me a little buzz, give me some little wine, and then we can have sex. Okay, then. You know what I'm saying? If that's what you like, if that's your thing, you know, if you, you want somebody to rub your nipples or suck your toes or some type of weird fetish you know you kinky like that ask for that if they don't want to give it to you then you look at them sideways like excuse me like what like i want to please you sexually so do you want to please me sexually okay then, then let's go together now we can be boyfriend and girlfriend now we can go together next if they try to belittle your career aspirations i don't care where you work at if you want to flip burgers at burger king if you want to do french fries at mcdonald's if you want to sweep the floors at subway and that's your aspirations if they can't rock with you that way then you don't need to deal with them you need to deal with somebody who loves your career aspirations don't nobody got time for that my ex tried it with youtube i don't want you to do youtube videos where are you gonna provide me with another source of income okay then then shut your mouth be quiet it I, I don't like when you get on youtube oh you don't like when i get on youtube now okay you knew i was a youtuber from the beginning of the relationship why are you trying to act like you don't know why is it a problem now when did it become a big issue for you when you met me this is what i was doing i'm all youtuber okay i'm all YouTuber and now I got a Roku so now so now how you feel now I'm on a whole nother channel so now what now I really do TV you mad about that too you gonna stop me from doing that too will it on back will it on back I'm sorry I went I went to my relationship but you know in my mind I'm still a little angry you know in my heart I'm a little you know messed up I had to win it on back I'm sorry next if they don't give you any public acknowledgement if they don't even tell you like this big secret you need to be worried don't nobody got time for that because genuinely, when people love each other, they want to tell the world. They don't want to keep nobody no secret. Let's keep it a secret. Nah, they ain't trying to keep it a secret. They trying to keep you a secret from somebody else. A lot of people be like, I don't want people to know my business. I don't want nobody to know my business. But there is a big difference between privacy and secrecy. Know what the difference is. Don't nobody got time for that. Next, gaslighted. Ooh, I can't stand this one when people do stuff wrong in a relationship and then you respond to them doing something wrong and they try to tell you you the reason this your fault. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> you did something screwed up and got the response you deserve out of me, but now you want to make it seem like because I responded that way, I'm the problem. No, you the problem for even putting me in a position to even have to feel like this is the way that I got to respond to you, homie. Don't nobody got time for that. Come on, man, stop. Next, if somebody try to pull you away from your family and your friends and isolate you, you should be worried. You should be worried. Because anybody who wants to isolate you from everyone but them... They don't want you to be an individual. And you can't be losing yourself inside of these relationships. Like, I don't want to eat, sleep, breathe, drink a person all the time. I'm going to need a break from that person. Give me a moment. Like, I'm going to need for you to go out, go to work, do something. Give me a break. Give me some time to read a book or something. 
just because I want to continue to be an individual doesn't mean that I'm cheating on you or that I love you any less. It's just I need some time for me. I should be able to have that. And lastly, if they always accusing you of cheating, you know that sometimes, most of the time, I mean like all of the time, people who cheat always trying to accuse somebody else of cheating. Don't nobody got time for that. You want to accuse me of cheating? Well, you know damn well I haven't cheated on you. Let me tell you something. Most people know when the person that they're with is a cheater or not. Like when you've been with someone for a long time, if they cheat, somewhere in you, you're like, I knew this person was going to be like a cheater. Like my spidey senses told me, right? But if someone is like a good person, you know that too. You know, you're like, ah, that person wouldn't do that. That doesn't seem like something they would do. Listen to your gut. It'd be like a whisper sometimes it'll tell you. But anyway, what are some things that you won't tolerate inside of a relationship? Put it in the comment section below, okay? Have vision and stay focused. Namaste. It is true.